Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 16 of the Pac-Man Road to Glory. Now, of course, in the last episode, we uh, we picked up a victory and were squeezed out in the latter stages of the final game of the episode to uh, a 3-2 defeat. But fortunately, we've uh, we've come back and we've got a fresh squad on the screen now. I put uh, fitness cards on Santana and Morales, the two wide players, because of course they were used in that Argentinian side that we used in the previous episode. But we come up against a very very strong La Liga side in this one: Torres, Pedro, and David Vera as a front three. It's the fourth variant of the 4-3-3 formation with two CMs and one Cam in Munain and then of course uh, very very strong defence as well with Cohen Trail Juan Fran Puyol and Miranda I believe it was but he went 1-0 up here with uh, a cheeky lobbed through ball with Pedro and this basically this whole episode is uh, everything that's wrong with FIFA 14 so far what was the defender doing there first goal was a chip through ball second one my defender just w was a complete retard like I slowed it down here what what is that? I don't. I just don't understand. And then just completely ignore the ball when going for the tackle. He goes through and makes it two 0 Second half, Miranda is nowhere near that. The ball is going straight for my defender, and somehow Miranda kind of twists his upper body and moves a foot and a half to the left. To then get his head around my defender's head, put it into the back of the net, and shock another chipped through ball into the back of the net to make it four 0 in the 67th minute. Fortunately, we were able to get one back through a head of our own. Dimitri made it four one on 70 minutes. So of course he felt the need to uh, to go up the other end with uh, another lob through ball where the defenders completely ignore the ball. That was apparently a clearance. And uh, Pedro breaks the offside trap and uh, wait for it. Initial shot saved. And he turns down the option of putting it into the, an open goal to square it to Pedro, who not only wins one header, but wins two headers against two men that are a foot taller than him at the back post. Uh, I just have no words for how bad this game is right now. The ultimate team side of it. Career mode, wonderful. Head to head, pretty decent. Ultimate team is just... Uh, there just aren't any words, are there? Really, I just I'm so desperate for next gen to be better because I'm gonna re obviously we're gonna restart this series on next gen. And we're gonna go f basically from scratch. We're not gonna open any season ticket packs or extra packs, and hopefully we can uh, work our way properly from bronze through silver up to gold. But uh, we come back to the main menu and we're going to open ourselves up a 5,000 coin gold pack to again try and add to uh, the blend of players that we've got at the club. We've got quite a few players at, uh, at the minute, about four or five different squads that we've got built. About four of them are playable, a couple of them still need some extra additions, but the player we're getting this one, not the best player in this one, Theroux, a French striker, but Ibsen, a silver player, actually goes for a little bit, so I, I put him up starting at a grand. We actually get a duplicate already, can you believe it? Uh, Aguilar, a, uh, a CDM from Toulouse. Fortunately, we get a thousand coin bonus as well, and that um, that finisher chemistry style will actually go for a little bit in the transfer market as well. Maybe we'll get four figures for that. But I uh, went back into uh, into the next game with the same side, but I put Icardi up top, the Argentinian that played in the previous episode. He's now playing up top in the Serie A side because, of course, he plays for Inter Milan, and also Pazzini was absolute wank. So uh, I got rid of him, I brought Icardi into this team, and this is the team we're coming up against. And it is pace absolutely everywhere, and uh, he tried to uh, to take advantage of that. Not only the pace in his side, but the game's exploits. Literally every single chance he got, he played a lob through ball. That one, you just play it on the floor, but no, he plays a lob through ball because he knows it's going to get there. So another dink, another dink, another dink. How about a cheeky dink? All of which came to no fruition whatsoever when we took the lead in the uh, in the 45th minute through Icardi. Absolutely delighted to take a 1-0 lead in at half-time. So, of course, we then came out into the second half. And how about a dink? A dink? Oh, look, another dink. We'll try a lob through ball, shall we? Oh, Icardi nearly making it too. Kone, surely no. Kone again, he's got the whole half to himself. Courtois, you absolute bastard. Three points for me! Screw you and your lobbed through balls. Do not try that against me. I was so angry when playing these two games. And uh, it's probably transferred across through the uh, the commentary of this particular one. But as you can see, we had a lot of chances. He had barely any chances. It was just through ball, through ball, through ball, through ball. I get the three points. We're safe in the division. Two games left. Two points for promotion. Five games for the title. We can go up. We can get out of the shitty Division 8 that we've been stuck in for two years now. Um, I apologise if this commentary has been a bit all over the place, but I wanted to convey my fury at the game in a commentary as well as whilst uh, actually making the video itself and exploding via Twitter. So uh, 
Speaking of Twitter, if you don't follow me, then at Tesnoy Gaming is my Twitter. If you'd like to subscribe for uh, more FIFA content, probably less uh, less rants to be completely honest, but more FIFA content daily, then uh, feel free to do so. There'll be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the Pac-Man. And if you missed the previous episode in this series, which was less ranty, then there will be an annotation on screen over the pink ghost on your screen on the end slate, and that will take you to that video. But that is going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies for the rant, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. All right.